New tonight, South Jordan police are looking for whoever is using a dart gun to hurt animals. It's happening at the Daybreak neighborhood. New specialist Shelby Lofton shows us one animal that was rescued after being punctured by a dart. South Jordan police tell me waterfowl have been targeted and hit by these blow darts. They're trying to figure out who is doing this. Some of these injuries are federal crimes. A lot of families call Daybreak home. Some are louder, others keep to themselves. A number of colorful birds spend most of their time at Ochre Lake, but another speck of orange on waterfowl here has caused a lot of concerns. A coot that's been shot, a duck that's been shot. Someone is targeting animals with a dart gun. Last year we were called out here to Pioneer Park in Brigham City and they were having the same problem. Addison Smith, president of Wasatch Wanderers. Come here, ducky, ducky, duckies is passionate about rescuing animals and advocating for them. We're seeing people actually go out of their way to abuse an animal um, is where it just starts. The group helped rescue this injured coot with the help of people in the neighborhood. It's gone all the way through their foot um, and it, it looks bad. She says there is a risk of infection. Blow darts are pretty much the same as bullets in the fact that it really just depends on where, they're, where an animal or human is hit with them. It um, will really depend on if they can survive or not and how fast you get to that animal. The coot went to Second Chance Wildlife Rehabilitation in Price for treatment. Police say someone reported a limping dog in the area, but no dart was spotted. It, it really frustrates me, though, to see somebody go out of their way to intentionally harm an animal. Police say they don't have a suspect or suspects right now. I reached out to the Daybreak HOA and they said they've told residents about this issue and they defer to the police investigation. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.